Good morning, Internet! Yeah, I decided to start over from the beginning sequence. This is actually what happens when you don't hold down the button. Okay, so I'm being a little over dramatic. You don't know me, actually you probably do know me, but still, I'm Aetherspoon, and we are starting the second half of the Beyond the Beyond Let's Play, along with Zone Kitty, who decided to be in my lap. Let's continue our journey. We will go ahead and continue from Zalagoon Town. We are about to, uh, we just finished taking out Glade, the evil master of pickles himself. And now we have the ability to go shopping. I can't remember if I did already or not. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm just going to do a quick double check. Wait, why are they still locked? This isn't my save. That's weird. Let me load. There we go. There we go. Much better. Apparently I didn't actually save last time, I just save stated. Good to know. Because I didn't want to have to fight Clade again. That would have been bad. So, last time, um, we were told that we need to find a way to get across the bridge. That bridge, I don't know if you remember, way back in the beginning, I tried to cross the bridge and there was a Bandor guard sitting there going, Hey, you, you can't cross the bridge! Rah, 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 rah. That type of thing. We've got the same situation now, only we're a lot more powerful. So rather than that, I'm probably just going to go kill them. RPGs, the solution to everything. Kill them all. I should also be able to buy stuff again. Heh. <laughs> You thought he was a figurative monster. Ha ha. Alright, do you have anything that I care about? No. No, you don't. You don't even have any mage potions. This might suck a bit. I mean, I could always go walk back to, um... I uh, can't remember. Simone, there we go. But I don't want to. But let's go buy some equipment, shall we? And... Was it that button? There we go. Sorry, getting used to things again. I mean, it's been a week after all. Uh, let's see. Better steel shield, so... Oh, I need to go sell stuff first. Because I've got too much junk in my inventory. All that drunk in my trunk, after all. Right. Um, any... Oh, actually, I just need to move the music box out of her inventory. Give the music box to Taunt. <laughs> Alright, Samson, you can sell your heavy mail. And that means that there's space for everybody now. Yes, good. Uh, you always want to keep one inventory spot open so it's easier for you to buy and save. Buy and save. Buy and sell. Yay, shield upgrade! Already have that. Uh, gauntlet upgrade for Sammy. I have tons of money, so I don't need to worry too much. Annie needs a new dress, apparently. Seriously? Dress? Uh, I wonder if the Tempest Dress actually has an extra effect. Some of these have a hidden extra effect, and I never remember which ones do and which ones don't. Like, for instance, I believe the Wind Cloak actually increases your speed. And the War Hood, if I remember right, increases your strength. should probably actually look these up in an FAQ, but, you know, that'd require me to think and plan. You all should know I don't plan very well. 
Uh, let's see. Tempest Sword, I already have. War Axe, I'm really far behind on weapons for Sammy because I didn't pick up that item way back in, uh... Oh, I can't remember which dungeon that was now. Was that Aron's Tower? Yeah, I think it was. Oh, yeah. Time to upgrade some rods. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. We don't need to speed this up anymore. Um... So, Eddie and Annie now have the same attack. Taunt has higher attack somehow. Weird. Taunt is not supposed to be this good, by the way. She's, he's normally substantially worse on strength. That's weird. Oh, right, because um, Warhoods increase their strength by two. So Annie doesn't have that, which is the reason why Edward has the same attack power as Annie, even though Edward has two fewer strength. I guess it increases your attack by two and not strength by two. Um, McWedka and Samson have very similar stats at this point. Samson being a slower and crappier defense but higher strength version of McWedka. It's really his weapon that's doing most of it. And McWedka has a ring of power, that kind of helps. All right, let's go head out and let's do a real save, just in case. Because, you know. Oh, no. Yes. Save. Also, um, fair warning. This is... Uh, darn it. I keep forgetting that the game hates saving. All the default locations for things are in the wrong spots. Um, this is the absolute last point that you can do the glitch with, or not glitch, but uh, you can get a theoretically infinite num amount of money through selling and buying vases. Once you complete this part of the quest, you cannot go back. Well, you can go back to Luna, they just stop selling it. It's not an obvious point of return. Um, how am I doing on mage potions. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four for Annie, three for McWedka, four on Samson, two on Eddie, and four on Taunt. That's probably fine because we're out of the woods on the nasty stuff. I'm just going to give two to Edward. Yes, we should actually be done with all of the evil parts of the game at this point. There should no longer be any portion of the game that should give us any trouble. Haha, <laughs> no. Um, it's less that and more... We shouldn't have too big of a problem with most things at this point. Especially not, you know, green slime. Actually, let me go this way. Um... What was I saying? Oh, so... Oops, too far. Now that we have Area of Effect healing, now that we have Samson uncursed, things shouldn't be quite as bad as they were before. And it's true, we actually have a period of time where the game becomes easier again, and this is that period of time. So remember when we walked back here earlier and there was a dragon sitting in the way? Uh, the dragon's not there anymore. So the whole plan that they have that they don't actually tell you about whatsoever is that what you're going to do is that you're going to attack them from the rear. Basically, you're going to have a pincher attack on the Bandor army. Only the pincher attack is headed up by a group of ragtag kids. If I would have to make a guess, at this point of the game, you're probably more like about 17. They don't really give a whole bunch of guidance as to how long in the things take in the game, but generally for Shining style games with promotion you're a young adult by the time that's a, that's one way if i remember or that's a dead end if i remember right um you're actually an adult by the time that you promote and we're getting very close to promotion so i might as well talk a little bit about promotion since i have nothing else to talk about right now so the way promotion works in this game yep dragon's still there actually I think Dragon leaves later. Um, the way promotion works in this game is pretty simple. 
what you do is that any character that is level 20 and you complete a solo quest for Mikwedka, you will be able to promote to a new class. That class is always the same for every character. Or, sorry. For, in other words, Annie can't promote to a secondary class. It's always, you know, she'll promote to, I want to say, priest or something. Priestess or something like that. Maybe it was Vicar? I can't remember their promoted class names. Um, but anyway, <clears throat> she will always promote to that. There's no alternate promotions or anything like that. When you promote, what really happens is that you're set back down to level 1, but you're in a promoted class. Your stats stay the same. And, well, that's really about it. In Training Force 2, what, we're, what would happen is that um, spells were based off of level. And when you promote, you're automatically assumed to be level 21. So if you leveled up to... if Say, for instance, you would normally get... We'll use an example. This is not... Uh, this is not entirely accurate. But let's say that you have, for instance... Um, Healing Rain 2. Healing Rain 2 is a spell that, say, Annie gets at level 29. I don't think it actually is, but... I'm just resting because I can. Um... Annie could level up to level 29 unpromoted and get it. In Training Force 2, Annie could also level up to level 8 promoted and get it. But if Annie, say for instance, leveled up to 28, then promoted, got set back to level 1, she would need to level up 8 more times in order to be able to get the spell. That's kinda crappy if I do say so myself. And Beyond the Beyond actually fixed that. This is one of the few things that Beyond the Beyond improved upon from, compared to their previous games from Camelot. Um, I don't know why it's obsessed with saving over slot 2. So, what this means is that Annie could be level 28, promote, level up once, and immediately get Healing Rain 2 for this example. I don't think that's actually the level that she gets Healing Rain 2. I'm pretty sure it's much higher. So, there's absolutely no drawback whatsoever into promoting late, other than you're going to slow down a bit. The reason being is that you level up much faster unpromoted, er, promoted than you do unpromoted, initially. Eventually it slows down again, but you have a gap of time, I want to say it's something like five levels, where you actually level up really fast. It doesn't take a whole bunch of experience to level up, and it works great. And, well, the later you do that, the better. So my plan is that I'm trying... I'm, at one point you actually have to for plot reasons. So McWedka will probably end up leveling up, I would guess, somewhere around 24 to 26. I'm at least going to aim for that. I may end up doing a little bit of grinding to make the later game easier. And there is one character in the game that is pre-promoted. That is to say that they are already promoted by the time you get them. And, well, they assume that he's promoted at level 20. Not the greatest of ideas. I don't know why I'm not speeding through this. I mean, even Edward can one-shot him. <clears throat> I'm not going to actually end up using him this run, I think. I'm pretty sure I know what my final party is going to be, but it's a toss-up between Taunt and Edward. So, oh, hey, look! Remember that gate before that was locked and stuff? It's broken now. Hmm, I wonder what happened to Percy. The lever's still broken, though, so they didn't repair the lever. They just busted through the gate. I don't know. Too far. Tumble Bunnies! Oh, I missed your Tumble Bunnies. Oops. I should probably stop speeding up the fr or I should probably stop frame skipping at that point. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be... I don't know what that's supposed to be, to be honest, because as far as I can tell, Beyond the Beyond is actually a monotheistic society. Or the world of Beyond the Beyond, I should say. They only worship one deity, and that's Auron. There are multiple devils, but they only worship one deity. You remember this sliding block puzzle, right? We don't have to do this again. Hooray! Beyond the Beyond's doing something useful. And the guy is no longer here. Oh, wait, yeah, there, there's somebody here. But he was arrested. He's not dead. He's arrested. I suppose when you go back and try to fight Ramu and he's actually arrested. Or actually killed. So, remember what you, we were here for? We are here to go provide aid. Now, I always wondered, what happens if you go to Marion at this point? Without providing any aid or anything like that, I don't remember ever trying. 
And let's be honest, these are slimes. We don't care about the difficulty of any enemies here. Ever. See? It is still a part of Bandor at this point. We go here early. And they have crappy equipment still, and everybody's still all depressed. However, apparently they defeated Lord Kevin's. So the game actually does apparently update some information if you come back here after um See? So apparently this updates, um, if I'd have to make a guess, probably before the fight with Glade. So, after Samson's Uncursed. I'm really just doing this out of curiosity. I'm, I apologize if this is a little boring to you all. So Galahad is apparently still alive. There's a rebellion currently going on. Wahaha! Really? You're a guard! Come on! Nobody cares about you. Just an ordinary guard. Oh, right. Don't need to do that. Oh, yeah. Apparently, I did not pick up a hidden item in here. I don't know where it's at entirely. I can find it later. Um... There's a helium ring. All it does is change the pitch that characters speak at. So, that pitch. Only it's for your actual characters. I never knew what it did, although it makes sense with the name. Signs update? Nope. Um, I didn't know what it did because I equipped it on McWedco, who never speaks. Yeah, go me as a kid. Or teen. Let's go ahead and go down to Don't Care. Let's go ahead and go back down to Zella? Isla? Isla? So apparently Bandor just likes torturing everybody. Hey! Have you seen Sir Galahad? Apparently nobody recognizes me, even though I was raised in this village. And have Annie with me, who was born here. And Samson in my party, for that matter. I don't get it. That guy recognizes me, at least. You're a cool guy! Like I said, I'm really just doing this out of curiosity. So, this is where we find out that Percy was captured. However, they're constantly torturing him. Constantly. He's... I believe Bandor is just trying to get the horribly evil villain thing down pat, because they're doing a good job in that regard. What happens if we try to go back home? Apparently nobody's allowed to enter. Except she's allowed to enter and leave. But she doesn't talk to us. You know why? Because they would probably torture us. I was told about this scene. I had never actually seen it myself. Always curious. And that route goes back to the weird place that nobody ever wants to go. I still like this song. Nice flute music. I'm a sucker for flute music. So, and yes, I am playing. I'm I am wearing my Prepare for World nomination shirt. Actually, wore this last night, but that's because I put it on right before leaving. Nope, that's not where I needed to go. Ah, sorry, distracted. I need to go make a distraction at the bridge where I actually fight something useful. Unlike these things, which all it really serves to do is do me one point of damage if there's five of them and I miss. Because I always seem to miss. So. Here's the bridge, this tiny little bridge that we've been worried about the entire time. Let's go fight these suckers!
ha! Or excuse me, ha ha ha. Heh Apparently they're beefus and butthead. Oh, by the way, um, I'm apparently marrying soldiers now, but you know, there's that. Bring it! Oh wait, you only sent two soldiers. I uh, but. Yep, they politely, you know, attack twos. I don't know why they attack in twos, but they do. Yeah, that guy's the annoying guy. Um. And oh, why not? Let's go with a Titan. So, the guy in the back is the standard Bandor crossbowman that we fought in pre previously. The guy in the front, if I remember right, is just a old-style flunky that's very weak, which is the reason why I'm kind of ignoring him. Oh, wait, no. That's not the boss version. They, these are the weak ones. Never mind, this won't be too hard. And this is totally a waste of a titan. Go up! Ah, let's just slam him. Oh, hey, look. They're... yeah. Again, the game actually gets easier at this point. I'll have to take care of you personally. Now the rest of them fight. I don't know why only two of them were sent out. Apparently they thought a bunch of kids couldn't do it. Okay, notice the height difference. I think that's actually where you can tell the difference between the two types of Bandor soldiers. So let's go ahead and ignore everybody except for that guy, because they'll die from Titan. And... sure, you can ice one him... No, no, not attack taunt. Taunt is gonna tighten. Ow! Yep, that guy's the powerful one. Mm, healing rain's not gonna help initially. It's a problem with healing rain and you know people. I probably should have just attacked up um, Samson, thinking about it. Oh, hey, look, now we're down to just that guy. Much better. Annie, now you can healing rain. McQuaid could attack, Samson attack. Eddie, why don't you attack up Samson? Taunt, you can go down to summoning. Dlink. Blink, blink, blink. Samson's still a little low, but that's okay. No need to fast forward through this now. Oh hey look, it's a double critical hit. Again. One of these isn't that big of a deal, to be honest. Yeah, that was probably not worth bothering to do. Just Thunder 1. That was a waste of MP. I should have just attacked up. Oh well. I don't need MP. Wait. Ah! Camera just fuzzed out. That's weird. This device can perform faster. You plug it into a USB 2 port. It's already plugged into one. Hold on. Be right back. Right, you can't see what I'm doing anyway. Oh, why are you doing this now, camera? It's probably my computer and not the camera. Ah, uh, you just get to see a still of my mug, apparently. Let's uncheck camera, recheck camera. Does that work? No. Uh, let's see. Properties. Refresh. Camera. Okay. Okay. Huh. Well, that's annoying. Well, let me finish this by battle, and then I'll stop this and make this a very short video, and then, then start the next one. Because apparently my camera's being stupid. Again. You just get to see me staring off into space, for no reason. I probably should have healed up again. Oh well.
There we go. That'll work. Seriously, I summoned a slip that did nothing. Yeah, that that's great game. Okay, Annie, you can heal rain, attack, attack. Eh, why not? Did a link. Dink dink dink. Really? Already? It's only been like two rounds. It doesn't last as long as they used to. Three! Yeah, that wasn't worth doing. That was even less worth it. Heal one. Mikwetka. Attack. Attack. Attack up Mikwetka. Not item. Attack up Sammy. Magic. Heal two Mikwetka. Attack. Attack. Item. Mage Potion, thine self. Item. Mage Potion, thine self. Wow, I look goofy when I'm just standing there not doing anything, don't I? Why did I do that? Oh well, doesn't matter. Battle's over. Ah, the commander was defeated! Run away! The Bandor army is retreating! On to Marion, while I carry toothbrushes! I know they're supposed to be pole arms, but they totally look like toothbrushes, don't they? Seriously? Hey, look! A lot more troops. Why, why didn't you just... Oh, right, never mind. Duh. Okay. Let's go ahead and walk back to the church to save, and then I will stop and try to figure out what in the world's going on with my stupid camera. I do have a second webcam, push comes to shove. I don't want to edit these ahead of time. Or I don't want to have to edit these each time. That would just stink. Bum, 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 dun, dun, dun. Oh, right, there is no person there. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Save state's good enough. Goodbye, everybody.